Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here or if you're a returning visitor, I welcome each and every one of you guys here today to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and welcome. So uh, before I get into today's topic of discussion, I kind of want to showcase my hat and my scarf. Uh, it is one of my creations. It's not really that complicated. Um, it's literally half double crochet and my metro beanie pattern um yeah all in a nutshell i did some extra rows just to kind of give it a little flip flip for flair um and i used premier's puzzle yarn in the colorway jigsaw it is a five weight yarn it comes with 328 yards it's a seven ounce ball 200 grams and i love premier puzzle yarn and yeah so every opportunity i get I create something, hat scarf situation with the puzzle yarn. I've done sweaters with this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, the colorway that it shows on the front is reminiscent to the colorway that we're seeing here on my scarf. So, yeah, hat and scarf. There's that. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I've never talked about before. It is a new way that I went searching out for some yarns, and this adventure was uh, through eBay. I'm looking down because the box is there. Um, I won an auction on eBay for some vintage yarns, some new, some old, some in between. We're going to get into that and experience that whole thing together. Let me just pull this up here. This is the box. They used a Walmart box. But yeah, $9.84 for all the yarn that's in this box. I did open it just to save us a little bit of time. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Um, yeah. First impressions, there's a lot in here. Okay. There's some very familiar yarns, and there's a lot of not so familiar yarns. So Mary Maxim's Starlet Yarn, I am familiar with that. Um, I adore Mary Maxim's website. I have crochet kits with this uh, line of yarn. Not this particular colorway, but this line of yarn. Huge fan of Mary Maxim's Starlet. Starlet Yarn? Yeah, Starlet. Okay, so the next thing I'm looking at here is Columbia Minerva yarn. I can tell you right now that this is vintage just by going by the label. Um, you can tell just by the label itself that it is pretty dated. Um, look at the th look at how thin that is. Let me see here. The color is white. Um, let me see if it has a weight. It, it's one ounce. It's 50% DuPont Cripset Nylon, 50% Virgin Wool. Washable colors, permanently moth-proofed. Um, yarns are guaranteed against manufacturing defects. Purchase sufficient of same dye lot to complete garment. So obviously this was made for like socks and things of that nature. Um, maybe just like a baby outfit, not really sure, but needles, size 5, size 6, size 8, um, and then it gives a gauge. It doesn't have a date on here, but I can surely tell you that this is some old yarn here in pretty decent condition nonetheless, and it, I do feel like the wool nylon situation going on here, very wearable. Um... I'm afraid to actually use it because it's so, like, vintage. But, yeah. Feels great, guys. Columbia Minerva. I'll have to look that up. I wish there was a date on it. Oh, well. Okay. Um, next is Red Heart's Baby Fingering Yarn. Look, you can tell right now just by the label that this is dated. This is uh, pretty, pretty old. Um... It's fingering weight yarn. Uh, let me see. The specs aren't typically where it usually is because this is an older label. It's three ply. Um, 
and it doesn't give like a weight obviously like how the newer yarns do with this uh situation right here we don't have that on this um <laughs> okay we're just swinging it with a hope and a prayer here it's 84 percent acrylic 16 percent olefin and th three ply um yeah so it's approximately 270 yards and the color is white let me just give you guys a close-up yeah it's pretty old I w again i would really like to know like what the date is um no date but the die there is a die lot and all the things so interesting step back in time right guys okay another aged piece here it's red heart this is taking us back guys look <laughs> look how old this is red heart nylon tangle proof ready to knit pull out skein this is an inside pool guys look it even goes back to way back when this is a uh, a center pool uh skein uh, the color is 261. There is a dye lot. It says, we suggest you purchase sufficient yarn of one dye lot as different dye lots are uh, very slightly in shade. There is no date on here, but it's DuPont's 100% permanent crimp set nylon. Chadwick's Red Heart. Wow. Sold by the Spool Cotton Company. Look some vintage situations going on here guys right so interesting okay uh coats and clark okay so we're talking like 70s the 70s and the 80s now um you can just tell by the label for those of us who have been around a really long time um yeah these th this is way back when they used to do um the they used to put a strand in the label to keep it from falling out because again it's a center pull skein so they used to do that back in the day um this is uh let's see i'm sorry it's one and three quarter ounces it's a three ply um, I don't see any ounces on here. No ounces. Oh, I just said it. One point, uh, one and three quarter ounces. I'm so sorry, guys. 59 grams. Uh, the color is baby yellow. It does have a dye lot. But yeah, it's very thin yarn here, guys. Interesting, right? Some vintage yarns. Okay, so... I've never worked with this before, guys, but this is body craft cord. It's definitely not yarn, but it's a it, it's cord. Um, it's bulky, color fast. It gives a hook size of Q, um, 16 millimeters. And this is a super bulky number six, um, heat fusible. Look at that. Interesting, right? I don't think this is vintage of any sort, but um, it's interesting because it has crocheting and knitting knitting information. Who would knit cord? That would be very interesting to see. I'm sure there's someone out there who knits cord, but it's not me, so I'm going to have to YouTube that and see if someone is out there doing that. Um, the next one is Burnett Blissful. I've never worked with this kind of yarn. Um, it's very plush-like. Um, let's see. The colorway is Midnight Mist. And it's not really that old. It actually gives us a date. It's July of 2015. Burnett Blissful. So it's not that old. It's pretty recent, right? Um... Yeah, looking at the yardage here. So it's approximately 106 yards. It's a super bulky six. It's 100% polyester. Burnett Blissful. It feels nice. 
Okay, let's pull out another another one here. It's 114 yards of this Zumba Loops and Threads. Um, obviously, this is Michael's situation. Um, 2013. Yep, May of 2013. I like how some of these have dates so we can reference times and things. Um, what is the colorway? Colorway is lightning. It's lightning. I don't know. I, a ton of other colors come to mind. Canary. I don't know. Anyway, it calls for a 9 millimeter hook, uh, a USM, and it's a super bulky 6. You can wash and you can dry. You can't iron. Um, and as always, most of these labels say to purchase a sufficient amount for the same dye lot. You know. Okay, the next one here. Burnett Puffball Holidays. Interesting. It's a super bulky six. Um, the colorway here is Garland Green. And it calls for a five and a half millimeter hook. Am I reading that right? A five and a half millimeter hook. Okay. Work. All right. It's 100 grams. 3.5 ounces. And whoever had it before me Many, many moons ago, bought it on clearance for $2.49. There's no date on here, but I can just tell by the age of that clearance label that it's been around for a minute. It smells like a storage closet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. So this next one here is Loops and Threads Charisma Heather. We know, do we know Charisma? Sure we do. Leaps and Threads. Um, the color here is gold. Right? Yeah. It calls for a six and a half millimeter hook for US. It's a K. And it's 93 yards. It's three ounces, 85 grams. It's 100% acrylic. Leaps and Threads. It's an older label, so uh, there's no date on this one, guys. Um, but... It's not recent. Obviously, we all know the the current loops and threads labels have they're all white with like black lettering. So, yeah, there's that. This next one is Bernat Satin, and it's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 100% acrylic. It is a medium four weight yarn, and it calls for a five millimeter hook. And the date on here is January of 2003. So, 20 years old. And it is so soft and plush. It feels great. Yeah. And, oh, I'm sorry. And the colorway is seashell. So, there's that. We're still going, guys. So, uh, Village Yarn Bliss is this next one here. It's got this halo situation going on. I know a lot of crocheters who love this halo. I'm not one of them, I'm sorry. But I'm keeping an open mind because proper channels have to be unbiased. And I'm trying to be. So this is a four weight yarn. It's 63% acrylic and 27% polyester and 10% mohair. Wow, what a mix. Um, it is 104 yards, 195 meters, and it calls for, it doesn't have millimeters, I'm sorry guys, it calls for an I-9 hook, so five and a half millimeter hook. Uh, machine wash, dry flat, made in China. So yeah, some halo situation, and there's no date on here guys, I don't know how old this is. Um, yeah, so there's that. Next thing, Sundance Metallics. It is a three-weight yarn. Wow, that's really catching the light there, guys. Um, so it calls for a five-millimeter hook, and it is 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, 145 yards, or 133 meters. Um, <clears throat> wash, yes. Dry, no. So... Lay flat to dry. Yeah. 
interesting. No date, but I noticed there was another label here similar. I don't know. Anyway, I, I like that color. I don't know what I would make with that. Maybe a Christmas stocking. I don't know. Things are coming to the brain. All right. Next, another Red Heart Sport Yarn. Purchased at Buy Mart. And Red Heart, no date on here, but I know it's aged. It's been around for a while. It's a sport yarn, machine washable and dryable. A Wintuck product, 100% virgin Orlon acrylic fiber. And it is a two-ply. Um, Coates and Clark, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it is telling you that it's a center pull. See, these older labels used to tell you exactly how you were supposed to pull the yarn. These newer ones don't. It's like, go figure it out for yourself. Um, but yes, so these are center pull skeins. And yeah, pretty amazing looking back how the skeins of yarn used to come to us. Now we have a Mary Maxim Mellow Spun 4-ply sport yarn. Ski in here. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, it is three and a half ounces, 100% Orlon Wintuck acrylic. What is this with this Orlon Wintuck? It must have been a thing back in that day, in that time frame. I don't know. It's um, non allergenic. It's all the things machine washable and dryable. And there is no name for the colorway. It must have faded out. Or may not have even been a part of the situation. Not really sure. You can tell by the font that it's been around a while. Um, no date on it, though. But, yeah. We're going to just call that light blue, guys, right? Yeah. Feels uh, like an acrylic wool blend, if I'm being honest. I know it's acrylic, but maybe it's just because of how old it is. I don't know. <clears throat> um, so this is a no-name ball. <laughs> we just got a gray, I'm going to say five weight. Yeah, five weight yarn. And this is actually reminding me of Hometown USA yarn. That's what it's reminding me of. I don't know exactly what it is, but I have yarn very similar to this right over there. And... Should I get it? No, it's too far. Um, yeah. Ball of gray yarn, guys. <laughs> We're going to say five weight, six weight, somewhere in between. Okay, next. Wow. Spinnerin. Three-ply fingering yarn. 50% virgin wool, 50% crimp set nylon for super strength and deluxe softness. One ounce, approximately 185 yards. I can tell by the font that this has been around for a very long time. Um, this was made in South Hackensack, New Jersey. This was made in the U.S. of A. Um, look at the font. You can tell just by the graphics alone that this has been around sitting in a box, in a bag, in a closet for a very, very, very long time. And it doesn't have a date, and I wish it did, um, because that would have been awesome. Okay, so we have a skein of yarn. It's very hairy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very furry, fuzzy. <laughs> I keep calling it hairy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very hairy. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really give you any specs on this. Um, yeah. So, a twister yarn of some sort. I don't want to call it out wrong, so we're just going to call it skein of yarn that looks nice. And it's hairy. There we go. Okay, next is a Pom Pom Sherbert yarn. Um, it is a bulky five. It's giving me Ice Yarns vibes. It's not really Ice Yarns, obviously. The pink, uh, I'm sorry, the color name is Pink Sherbert, color number 001. 
the uh, Department 71, right? So it's 54% nylon, 22% acrylic, 12% mohair, 12% wool, and it's 96 yards, and it calls for a six and a half, six and a half hook. Um, yeah, six and a half millimeter hook. Hand wash, dry flap, made in China. I don't know what I would make for this, but yeah. Okay. We're just going to fly by the seat of our pants with some of these things, guys. And we're just going to, I don't know. <laughs> this next one is Sirdar Snuggly Double Knitting Yarn. Um, let's see. The shade is 0216. We're going to call this light blue. Um, it is 50 grams. It's approximately 179 yards. And yeah, so it's 55% nylon. 55, I'm sorry, 55% nylon, 45% acrylic. So there you have that. No date on it. It doesn't look like it's vintage like some of these other ones. It may have come from like some kind of craft store. Um, small box, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I could be, and I'm probably completely wrong. Um, okay, so Lion Brands 24-7 cotton. Okay, we know, and it's still in the plastic. It's probably going to stay in there, too. Um, I don't want to destroy something that could be like a little time capsule. So 24-7 cotton yarn, guys. Um, this looks like their older label. Uh, the colorway is red, obviously, rouge red. And it is a four weight yarn, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 186 yards, and it is calling for a four millimeter hook. So awesome that it's still in the bag. I love that. I'm probably never going to open that. I'm going to be like, look at the yarn that I got from an eBay auction that I won. So awesome. Okay. This next grouping here, I have three skeins of Adrian Vitani Christina yarn. Um, I can tell by the price tag that it is pretty old. Um, it came from Great Yarns, and the original price back in the day was $17.75. And it went on clearance, guys, because obviously it wasn't a hot seller. Um, and it was marked down to $8.88. And let's see, it's 65% wool, 35% nylon. It's 140 yards. It calls for a number eight needle, so I'm guessing it's knitting. It doesn't give crochet uh, measurements, but going by what I'm looking at here, oh, wow, it stretches. Um, I would say a five millimeter hook, four five millimeter hook uh dry clean only do not steam made in italy exclusively for uh adrian yarns so okay so we have some italian situations going on here some vintage italian i want to say the 70s the disco right it's giving me that vibe 70s disco studio 54 let's make a quick top go downtown i don't know i'm Going crazy here with the... Oh, don't mind me, guys. It's been a very long day. Um, this <laughs> next is a grouping of three little finger skeins of Listerly Nursery Time Baby Quick Knitting. Um, and it was... It was bought at Stedman's, whatever that is. And it was $1.49 back then. Um... Made at Whit uh, White Oak Mills, Wakefield, England. So, oh, 1976, guys. There's a date. It's 1976. Look. It's older than me. Only by a couple of years. Um, anyway, it's 20 grams. 
Um, what is the color way here? We're just going to say baby pink because there really isn't a color name here with these. It's 50% acrylic, 50% nylon. Pretty amazing, guys. Like that for us. And last but not least, we have this skein here. Okay, there's just a lot happening with this. I've never crocheted with this before. Um, but in either case, this is Patton's Evita. Okay, and it is 50 grams. It is a bulky five, and it calls for a six millimeter hook, wash and dryable, and the colorway is Sierra. No date on it, uh, but yeah, that's the situation that's happening with this. There's just a lot to look at with these little bobbles and situations like that. Um, I typically don't work with these yarns like this, but I'm definitely going to experiment to talk about my experience with it. So I got all of this yarn for $9.84. Um, that is a steal if I have, I mean, I'm telling you, it is a deal and a steal. I encourage you guys, um, if you're able to, go on to eBay and just look at the stuff that's there. I mean, would I ever work with yarns like this? Absolutely not. But why not expand our horizons and try new things and experiment and get creative? You never know what you're going to come up with. I just, I'm, I'm kind of impartial with these vintage skeins because they've been, I don't want to say preserved, but they're still here. Like they're still in one piece. Do I want to actually make something with it? Possibly. Um, and I can just say I made something with vintage uh, yarns. Um, but at the end of the day, like this is about just expanding your horizons and finding other ways to procure some yarns. Um, at bargain prices and experiencing new things. So yeah, I got this huge box, nine dollars, less than $10. And honestly, if I had the opportunity to do it again, I really would. And I would encourage you guys to do the same. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed our little haul here from eBay, um, please feel free to give me a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, uh, to stay up to date with all the things that are going on with Juan and the yarn addict situation. So, uh, yeah, until the next one, have an amazing day. Be safe, and as always, be kind. Thank you.